What's up, my what's up, my party people? I see that y'all like the videos of me explaining stuff. I don't know why y'all like when I explain stuff. Y'all really like it when I explain stuff. So I'm gonna go into my top five or top three favorite MBTI types when it comes to meeting them, etc., etc. When I say five or three, because I don't know. How much I'm gonna pit up. Hopefully I can get the five. Hopefully I get the five. I'm thinking three though. This is in no particular order, because you know people can be different. But I'm gonna start off with the INTJs. The INTJs are one of my favorite, most definitely favorite. Um. Sometimes I clash with uh. INTJs, but it's more off the fact that it's, um, what's it called? It like, they, they, they go off hearsay. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a guess that's a TE thing. They go, they go off hearsay and kind of revert it with their own feelings. And I'm kind of like, I don't give I'm I'm kind of like I don't really care what, like I don't really care what you think. I'm not not you think, but I don't really care for other people's opinion. I really care about you know your thoughts. Don't reiterate someone else's thoughts into your words. If if that makes sense. But um, I and I and TJs have this reputation of being emotion emotional emotionalist um like i said before i find intjs very emotional like extremely emotional i find fi users extremely emotional um people people will have you think that infjs need constant validation or uh, a INFJ or an INTJ relationship will would require extreme validation from the INTJ to the INFJ, which is not true at all. Um, I, I can only I can only speak for myself, but when I talk to INTJs, or if there was a type of friend or situation situationship or relationship or whatever i don't really need you to be up all on me because i'll probably get an annoyed by that kind of quick um as long as the love and care radiates off your body or radiates out your voice that's that's really good enough for my fe um you don't really need to be on an infj for them to know that they know that you care about them an infj would know that you care about them like you don't you don't really have to be like all jittery on them um i'm gonna I'm get to i'm gonna get to that part about on another MBTI type, but I'm talking about INTJs right now. Um, like I, INFJs do not require as much validation as y'all think. It's because y'all don't really know what a real INFJ is, and that's okay. That's why I'm here. But like. As as long as I know you care, as long as the love radiates off, off of your actions, as long as the love still radiates off your voice, like, you do not have to tell an INFJ you love them over and 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 over. Uh, an INFJ that tells you that is, is most likely an extrovert by pure means of the word um 
I find the INFJ and INF the INFJ and INTJ very extremely similar when it comes to the whole emotion field where where INFJs look at emotions from a tact a very tactical, logical standpoint where a INTJ already knows their emotions. Like purely, they purely already know their emotions. Um, I know INTJs are very passionate, very loving. Like, I I think it because I got FE in my second slot is that I can pick up FI like very very easily. Like, I can't speak for other INFJs, but. FI feels like a dump of emotions. FI is like, like literally like if, if I was sitting here doing nothing, FI is like someone coming in and just throwing a bucket of ice water in my face. Like F, FI is, is like raw emotion, like raw inner emotion. And I still don't understand why people think INTJs are emotion emotionless. Like those are the from from what I've seen. F F I is like one of the most clear emotions, emotion function, feeling function out there. Like it's so clear, it's so obvious. Like I don't know what's up with y'all. I INTJs are extremely loving, like extremely loving, like, like, like extremely loving, like very, very loving. Um, like, I, like, I, I think I'm gonna keep talking about this because I think the I, the heart, the heart and care of INFT, the INTJ is like very underrated and not really looked at as much as I think it should be. Um, I, INTJs are like such lovable creatures. Like, I don't mean to say creatures like that, but y'all get what I'm saying. Um, I know, I know like they're not really good at emotions, but when they try, it's like so adorable when they like try to like expressively outwardly show and it makes me go like oh look at you trying to oh look at you showing me that you care give me a hug give me a hug but i don't i don't know really hard like why did i like even when i started mbti like when I first looked into MBTI, I never knew people looked at INTJs as emotional, like emotionalless. Like their emotions, like they broadcast their emotions and how they talk and what they do. Like, I don't know. It's, it's, like emotions in general for me is always easy to see. Like, I don't, emotions are just easy for me to see. I'm gonna just assume that, but INTJs are the bomb. Like INTJs are dope. They have big hearts. They're extremely caring. Um, like, like if y'all really want my real honest opinion, I think INFJs, INFJs are a lot colder in the emotion sector than INTJs for like a very, like I can give like a lot of reasons why I think this, but that's not really the point of this video. But that's my thought about INTJs. INTJs are, INTJs are just the most loving, caring, genuine, honest. Uh, sometimes they can be honest. I think they're honest, but I think INTJs are just adorable, especially especially when they try to outwardly express their emotions. Like, you know what they're 
I can't speak about other MBTI types. I'm speaking about other MBTI types in the sense of me being an INFJ. Like, like you know, you like you know the love is there. You feel the love is there. You don't you don't need them to say I love you twenty four seven. Like when they love you, they show it. They show it. You will feel it. If INTJ loves you, you will feel it. Like you will honestly feel it if an INFJ loves you. I just think it's adorable. I think it's so adorable when the INTJ outwardly tried to express it. I, I just like, oh, you're such a teddy bear. Oh, oh, look at you. Look at you. But people need to stop looking at INTJs as emotionless. They INTJs are like very emotional. Very, like, like very INTJs are like extremely emotional like extremely emotional like have have y'all have y'all ever seen an INTJ go through like bad stuff in life y'all probably haven't um you probably be a close friend to know but if you actually been close with an INTJ, you will actually know how emotional they really are. <laughs> and like, I cannot really stress that enough. My other favorite MBTI type is the ENFPs. Um, I know I say I know I give ENFPs a lot of hard time because of NE. See, the thing about NE, like T T E, is like uh, an idea. And for me, it's easy to like construct ideas together. But the thing about any, it gives you a whole plot and a whole bunch of ideas. Like, like, like they're different. An idea is like singular. A plot is a group of ideas into a con construct, and they give you plot at the 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 plot. And the thing I, the thing I try to do, is try to connect all these plots into something but these plots are like these plots are like so far from the original plot I just I just mainly search for whatever the ENFP pits the most passion in and make an analytical response off of what they have the most passion for in their tangent or lecture of words so I think the EN the ENFP have so much energy. Like I I yeah, like they have so much energy. I, I love the energy they bring. Um but at a certain point that ENFP can get I mean no disrespect to e ENFPs, but some like like at a certain point y'all could get annoying. But it really like, especially when you care about someone or love someone, y'all can get like mad annoying. Um, y'all always like to touch, especially in public. Y'all, y'all are very, y'all are fans of like, you know, sticking your tongue down someone's mouth in public, which I hate. Um, and I, and not like I, not like I don't want the world, like, and not like I don't want the world to know that. Like, not like I don't want the world to know that we're together or anything, but I'm just not, I'm just not the type to, you know, public, publicly show PDA. I mean, it's like if, if we're in the house and you had some friends over, then, then yeah, I'm definitely affected, affectionate in a closed, you no know, inner, inner area. But if we like going to Walmart, like I don't feel the need I like I don't feel the need to hold your hand. Um like if you're beside me, like if you're beside me, I can feel your body. I can like being beside me is just as being beside me feels just as connecting as touching. I think I think touching is just too much when it comes to the to the public sense. Like like but if you if you want to kiss in public, like, yeah, like we can peck, we can kiss, 
but I'd rather do the tongue down your throat stuff like in a closed setting, like not around so much people. That's just my personal opinion. Um, y'all, y'all are very loving. Like, like I, like I said before, like I said before, like, like people don't think ENFPs are emotionalists, but they think INTJs are emotionalists, and they, they got, I think they got F, FI in the same slot. It's literally the same. Th this is this is a funny thing when I mean this is what I mean when I say y'all don't know the types as much as y'all say y'all do. But look but for me, I have I had first hand experience with INTJs and ENFPs. First first hand. First hand. So when I tell you uh, INTJ is emotional I <laughs> But anyway Um Like I just love I love the ideas they bring. I love, I love the passion they bring about different ideas. Like the thing, the thing about, the thing about, um, like if, like if you bring ideas and stuff that you're not really passionate about, don't really care about, then I'm gonna be like, why should I care about it if you don't really care about it? You know, that's the thing about FI. When an FI user brings you ideas or something that they have passion for, they really have passion, and you will actually feel it explode out of them. Or at least roar out of them. Um, I think, I think INTJs are very beautiful. Um, I think INTJs, ENFPs. I'm going, yeah. I think INTJs are beautiful too. Since I already said it, In, ENFPs are like their energy. Their energy is like a hug. Like the energy that ENFP brings is like a hug. And one thing I noticed is like, um, the e like you know how people talk about the NI stare and all of that. Every ENFP I have ever encountered find the NI stare mad attractive. Like they find it like orgasmically attractive. Maybe it's because I can look cute some days. I'm not sure, but they find the NI stare like very attractive. Where people will find it weird or people will find it awkward. ENFPs find like mad attractive. Um, ENFPs, ENFPs are dope people. I think they're criminally misunderstood as a whole, and they're just criminally misunderstood. Um, I think ENFPs are so bright. Um, they're just bright. They're like very ray of sunshine. Where I don't know. They just they just they're legit. Even even a P are just bright. I uh, I really like ENFPs. Um. A long-term relationship with an ENFP can be kind of draining. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Um, if it comes to a long-term thing, if we be choose between INTJs and ENFPs, I'll most likely. I'm most definitely go with an INTJ. Um, but but that's. I find both of them equal, though. I find both of them very equal. ENFPs are bright. I I cannot. I don't, I don't know. Maybe it's because, like I said, like I said before, I'm not like other INFJs. Like my cognitive stack is like through the roof. So I just find ENFPs very bright. I find INTJs very bright. I find them both very bright. E ENFPs are like bright too. ENFPs are very bright. Another. Uh, MBTI type I like the most is the INTPs. Um, I value their accuracy when they, when they explain stuff. Um, like when you hear me talk, I can't get as potent, but when a INTP speaks, there's 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 a lot of pot potency when they speak. Um. Like I, y'all understand how? Oh my goodness! I love the potency. Like, when I mean potency, I mean like the power 
It has. I mean, INFJs have. INFJ definitely have power too. Don't don't get me wrong. Every MBTI type have power, but when it comes to the potent potency of speech, they're actually to get their words off. They're actually to. <sighs> They actually have this strength. They, I think this is a first TI thing, but they have like a lot of strength when they, when they talk, there's the, the potency, it just, the potency is amazing to me. The potent, the potency and how they speak is just ravishing. And like the thing is like don't get me wrong they they go off with different ideas but they like when it like different between the uh, ENFP and the INTP the INTP like the ENFP goes off into different ideas everywhere but the INTP goes off into different ideas too but then they when they speak they can actually have accuracy in every plot they have where it would be less work for me to actually uh i'll say uh what word um compact it i i i think int i, I can listen to an intp talk like all day like legit <laughs> like legit I, INTPs are just INTPs are just cool, very cool. Ah, uh, I hope the INTPs don't get mad that I made this part kind of short, but that's all I can really, <coughs> can really think about at the moment. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I still love y'all. Uh, another one, the ENTJs. The thing about ENTJs is like they are in a, intellectual and actually starters. Like they're like the firm starters. Like they they are the firm in, intellects. Like when I mean firm intellects, where they get a they get an idea and do it like almost instantaneously. Um, they. They're they're fun, they're abrasive. I think I think um. The last time I encountered an ENTP, when me when I was fucking with an EN, not not ENTP an ENTJ, her her lo love language is kind of like physical hitting, and I'm like and I'm like and I'm like. I didn't, I didn't like that all that much because she didn't she didn't do no regular like you know punch buggy type of hug like she punched me like a man and I'm kind of like now like she had more like an antagonistic type of you know love language it got annoying but then I start enjoying it after a while though because I'm like oh like it, it like when you come to a realization of someone's love language, you start to like embrace it better. If this fly did not where did this fly even come from? I oh my goodness, I'm gonna throw a samurai blade through that thing. But in wait a second. I think the I think that Ian the ENTJs are the ENTJs are like these soft intellect, these soft intellects with a very tough outer armor as a as a shell. Like, like the intellect is like behind the tough shell on the outside. And I look at ENTJs like, oh, look at you trying to be tough. <laughs> like, like I look at them like I look at them like, like soft people that being tough I mean but that's who they are that are ENTJs are dope I have nothing 
bad to say about ENTJ. The only thing about ENTJs is like when they come to a abrasive and then I get abrasive back, it it, it become like uh eventually become like a battle of wits. I mean, I always win the wits battle. Like when it comes to battle of the wits, I always dust the ENTJ. But that dusting them in wits is not really even the main idea or goal every time I get into a debate anyway. I just want you to understand that that's pretty much it. I think I think I always find ENTJs kinda weird, but I find I find ENTJs that weird person that I always had this weird good connection vibe with. Where, where INTJs are like, well, INTJs, we naturally have this low key vibe. Like it's low key, but it's there. Like you feel it, but it's low key. Like when I mean low key, I mean more of an internal thing. Where ENFPs, the vibe is more of an outer thing, and with for ENTJ, it's kind of like the vibe is like like a like two wall like two like two walls coming together that's how i see the vibe between the entj okay this is the end of the video make sure you know i like all mbti types the same you're all beautiful in your own way but these are my top favorites in no order but these are my top favorites so you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.